Hello and welcome. Your fluffy armchair admiral is back with some more Rain Sim World 2. Yes, you heard me right. I'm back with Train Sim World 2 instead of Deray Valley. But before I will get to explain why, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already and follow up with bell button to turn on the notifications and stay up to date with my latest content. I would also like to encourage you to join my Discord server where you can interact with me and other of my fans or fans of the games that I actually play, talk about those games in general, share some cool mods or just chill. You can find link in description down below this video. Right. So as I promised in in that short introduction, uh, I wanted to to share some uh, some few words before we begin today's video. So, uh, as you probably noticed, I haven't been featuring Deray Valley for past two weeks now, and it doesn't mean that I'm abandoning this project and and that I'm abandoning the series. It's it's just lack of content that uh, that I got to show at the moment. So. Where I am in Deray Valley at the moment is is I I do have some some like um, uh, well I'm in that moment in in the game's career where you just have to grind the tasks to to progress because I need to accommodate or accumulate a substantial amount of money to buy a new license and then do some jobs that will barely break it even unless I will get a bonus from those jobs and even then uh, I will I will probably um, like earn just just a small amount of money so showing you the grind is basically quite a boring part of the content yeah uh, because grind is is the hardest part of, of any game uh, it's mostly because you have to be patient. So, uh, because there is not much content that I could show you now, because I would just have to grind my way through uh, to to new license to to actually have that that new content to show you. I decided that, well, I do have Train Sim World Two. Uh, it's still a solid product, even though I do have a little bit of a salty, uh, well, quite a lot of salt, in fact, to to talk about the game. Yeah. Uh, but the game still has content and that's something that I would like to show you. I would like to keep you entertained. I would like you to to find some value in, in the videos that, that you watch, even though my content is not the greatest, but well, whoever is actually watching that, I, I hope you, you will enjoy it. Uh, so I decided that I will continue my journey through Train Sim World 2 and uh, in fact uh, last time or last week we've started a sand patch great journey well started i've been actually a little bit into it already uh, but first steps in the journey as i as i mentioned are, are just tutorial missions where you learn how to operate your locomotive you learn how to refuel it and and this kind of stuff and those are usually very short missions that that last for like three five minutes so there is nothing interesting to show in there. Uh, but what I did show you was the first scenario that you have to do. And today we will follow up with scenario number two. So let me just jump into the game. As you can see, I'm already at Sandpatch Great uh, section of the game. Uh, and I can continue my journey. So let's do that right now. Uh, obviously you get two options, so we are going to continue Sandpatch Great Journey Mission 4 out of 31. So let's get going. Okay, so here we are. Uh, the mission is called Morning Ball Switching. We are using GP38-2, uh, same as last time. It's a tandem of two locomotives, uh, total length is 41.2 yards and total mass is 289.6 tons. Uh, we are going to operate on Cumberland Yard West and that's pretty much our mission. 
uh, we need to do some switching move some cargo around and shunt some cargo between different sidings so you, before we start to operate our locomotive let's check the switches I will approach this scenario really slowly so uh, don't blame me it can be done faster it can be done much more effectively but just bear with me just bear with me this game is all about practice so the fact that you fail in your first or second attempt means nothing because you will definitely need much more attempts in the future to, to actually make it better that's how you progress in in any train sim game um, if, if you can actually call that thing progression but uh, yeah okay so all the switches are set uh, we need to be on on this siding which is indicated on our map and you can check each switch by just holding the mouse uh, cursor over them so everything is set there are only two switches on our way that that can actually do something wrong anything else is set uh, correctly yeah okay so oh uh, I, I always keep pressing escape while, while turning from the map. Anyway, we are inside our uh, locomotive. Uh, our sidekick is, is sitting right next to us. Uh, look at his happy face. Oh yeah, he's so happy to be here. Anyway, let's begin uh, to operate our locomotive. So I will set uh, MU to a valve to lead or dead. Uh, I will set cutoff uh, cut out valve to freight because that's what we are going to carry I will put in a reverser and set it to forward I will turn generator fields and perhaps the lights uh, it's it's very good to, to turn on the light uh, independent brake is released uh, automatic brake needs to be released and I think that's all we have to do in order to actually be able to move. So let's sound a horn. Perhaps twice. Let's set throttle to, to one. And we are rolling. There we go. And so let's now gain some speed. Our target is about 500 yards away. We start pretty pretty far away, uh, but it should take us just just a minute to get there. It's not that far, and it won't take us long. Although our task today is a little bit more complicated, at least than the last time, which is nice. Right, I have to admit that. This game has has some nice graphics to it. I I really like how Train Sim World looks like. Uh, one of the downsides I, I've seen lately was lack of track IR support, which which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, don't take it as a criticism against the game. The game is still still pretty good in areas where it actually is good. Uh, but yeah I, I really wish that track IR would work with this game same as good as it does with uh, flight sim 2020 which was just recently released right I will give it a touch on the brake because we are approaching this consist really fast okay I I slowed down to 6 miles per hour, which is pretty good speed. We will still have to give it a touch. Let's turn the bell off because it, it's getting annoying and, and the sound seems to be glitchy. Uh, which is another problem, yeah. Uh, like, I'm not sure why those locomotives have automatic bell. It's, it's so annoying. Right, let me just slow down 4.1 miles well the speed is now good uh, even though 4.1 miles seems a bit fast okay 2.5 2.4 okay that should be good enough to actually attach 
these two halves of the train. Okay. Okay. Everything works. It took us about five minutes to get that part sorted. Okay, so objective completed. We got a new task. And now we need to reverse. And we need to pretty much go back where we were. With, with just a small switch to, to a different uh, track. Okay, okay. So that looks good. Uh, we don't need to touch any of those switches. They are already set. Uh, it's just this one that, that has to be set. And, and the rest should be fine. We can switch this one. Uh, just because we are going to, to go across this lane. And I heard that, that it's inappropriate to actually push the switch with your locomotive. It's better to set it. Anyway. Uh, let's get back. Oh, again. Uh, there is escape for, for a back button. Oh, and we are rolling. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. That might not be the most effective way to stop. But yeah, we, we definitely started to roll back. Uh, I, I forgot that we are on, on an incline. Uh, so so I should have uh, at least engaged uh, independent brake to, to keep hold on the locomotive when we are stationary. But well, I forgot it was definitely a dangerous thing to do uh, on a railway. Uh, never never leave your uh, locomotive or entire consist without any sort of handbrake uh, engaged uh, otherwise you might find your train uh, a few hundred miles away well maybe not a few hundred miles away but a few miles away uh, of your original destination crashing into into someone's house i i heard there, there were such accidents especially in us where you know, where there are um, sidings where you have to leave your train for for a night or, or something and and engineer forgot to uh, turn on uh, the handbrake or uh, he forgot to to leave like a train brake engaged and and the train just decided to to roll uh, from from some sort of a hill and, and crashed into into someone's house uh, or into into like a a local train station or or any other uh, various places where where the train could crash you know, which was a huge danger uh, obviously especially that uh, train that's going somewhere outside the schedule uh, will probably not turn on any sort of like a uh, road barriers which which is another danger uh, and, and this sort of stuff so yeah uh, never do that just never leave your train unattended yes that's that's like a fluffy armchair admiral 2020 meme yeah <laughs> no please please don't make me a meme please no anyway let's focus on our task uh we are approaching this uh, this small stop uh, that that we need to take in order to to reverse back to to a different part of, of this uh, yard and, and put those wagons where they should go oh my goodness me uh, yeah the most boring part of, of that switching is, is the part where you have to wait for your train to roll between two places because <laughs> uh, there's not much to, to, to look at especially on the yard where where you've already been a few times it is a massive yard, don't get me wrong. But getting from place to place around here takes forever. Okay, 140 yards. We can now start slowing down. Uh, by setting the throttle to idle. Um, in 10 yards, perhaps, I will turn on initial reduction. Yeah, I think that's fast enough. 30 yards. Yeah, yeah. 20, 19, yeah. 15 yards away is, is perfectly fine place to stop. There we go. Okay, so now we need to go uh, 900 yards in the other direction. 
to leave the wagons where they should be so let's again set the switches uh, we are on on like a, i'm not sure it's probably switching siding uh, so let's do first switch because we need to head onto this part of the yard and now we need to get on this track so first switch is set correctly second switch is not set correctly and this switch is set correctly okay right so we need to find ourselves there okay okay fantastic so let's set reverser let's release the brakes and basically we could leave the train to, to roll down but obviously we don't want to do that let's sound horn let's turn on the bell at least for now let's set throttle to, to two perhaps uh, so that we won't lose too much time uh, speeding up well 915 yards is pretty far away from here and we can speed up up to 15 miles per hour obviously i i won't be going that fast around this yard i i don't feel that confident in operating those locomotives to, to actually try and rush uh, if i would have like hundreds of hours spent in those locos um, probably i would be a little bit more aggressive on brakes and and throttle uh, but i just don't want to do that uh, this game is all about practice and, and obviously the challenge is to, to finish on time but it's better to be safe than sorry and it applies to every single job involving heavy equipment like locomotives trucks uh, ships and, and perhaps any any other equipment that might be used for industrial purposes okay 10 miles per hour we are doing great we need to just go a little bit further 11 miles per hour 12 okay perhaps i can let it coast right now uh, we should gain one mile per hour uh, to, to our speed by the time that that we will have to slow down anyway okay we are getting there 13 miles per hour and we are about 500 yards away okay okay we are almost at the siding very good okay let's turn the bell off uh, it's it's a bit glitchy 300 yards i'm not sure how far you have to go on on the sidings on on real railways but the game actually asks me to to go pretty pretty far uh, i still got like 200 yards to to go before i should stop uh, because this stopping point indicates where the locomotive has to be uh, instead of where uh, where the train has to be or at least part of the train has to be right I turned on initial reduction on my brakes and it looks like I'm, I'm stopping at a good rate. Uh, I'm still 30 yards away and my train is doing 5 miles per hour which actually should bring me to stop exactly at the right spot. 3.2, 2 miles, 1 mile and I'm... Yeah, I'm exactly at the right spot. Right. So now it's time for me to actually step off the locomotive. I will turn full service on automatic brake. And let me climb down the stairs. Oh, there we go. There is some other train coming, uh, going in the distance on the main line. It was actually smashing it on, on, on the accelerator. It was going really fast. Anyway, I need to uncouple last four cars. So, that's the one. Uh, uncoupling in Train Sim World, at least on, on this CSX line, is very simple. Just have to 
pull that lever and it's all done. Uh, well, definitely not as exciting as it is in Jirai Valley, is it? Anyway, uh, we managed to finish our first objective and now we need to travel another 900 yards. So basically back to, to the point where we've started from. Let's climb upstairs. Let's close the door. Let's sit on operator's seat. Let's release the brakes. Turn the reverser. And give it a little bit of a throttle. Uh, perhaps I, I should wait a little bit more for brake pipe to, to fill in with... Uh, with some sort of air pressure to, to release those brakes uh, but the locomotive seems to be rolling uh, correctly the brakes are definitely working much faster in train sim world uh, 2 than, than they are in Dire Valley where it takes a little bit of time to uh, to fill in the brake gouge and, and, and actually uh, get, get, uh, get the brakes off or on uh, it, it doesn't seem to be the case in, in Train Sim World where uh, everything just happens instantaneous like I'm not sure if, if that's a proper simulation of brakes or, or uh, if that's how it works in, in real life that, that it, it just goes pretty fast uh, I'm not sure I, I've never I've been never driving any any sort of real train. It's still fun though, and that's that's the challenge in the game. And well, uh, it's it's fun. It's it's really fun. Okay, we are doing nine miles per hour. That's a solid speed. Seven hundred yards. I actually wonder why the game is asking me to go that far. I have to go all the way back to the point where I started to do a switch. Because the next siding I have to go to is siding right next to it. So technically, uh, what I would normally probably try to do considering this, uh, the length of, of this consist would be to stop here, just before this siding. Uh, switch uh, or flick one of those switches to, to just find myself my way to, to other siding and then reverse there. But for some reason the game just asks me to do this very ineffective way. And I have to go all the way back there to stop, wait for a moment, change the switches and go all the way back to a completely different siding. I, I'm not sure if, if that, well, I'm absolutely sure that on normal railways, uh, like, not everything would work exactly like that. Even, well, probably procedures would say that. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if there are any procedures that would tell you, yeah, if you want to change your direction of movement, there are just certain spots on the sidings where you can do that even though it would be much more logical to just stop flick the switch behind you and, and reverse into proper siding I, I'm not sure if that's how it works or not uh, but yeah that's that doesn't seem to be too effective route that I'm just taking uh, or, or maybe it's just me I don't know right uh, if anyone out there who is watching me uh actually works on on a railway um, I'm, I'm more than happy to 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 hear about your thoughts about this this route uh, because it definitely doesn't sound too efficient right anyway uh, i need to do some more switching so obviously i can remotely switch this and as you can see i can find myself right next to the previous siding so all I had to do is to reverse past this junction uh, and then reverse back uh, and I don't see a reason why I would have to find myself in this section of track 
instead of find myself in this section of track which would be much more efficient anyway I am here so well that's all I can do right we are now ready to roll Okay, let's sound the horn, let's turn the bell off, because it's really annoying. And we can now wait for our train to roll for another 900 yards, just to stop and couple perhaps two or three cars, and go back here, because that's how this scenario is going to lead me, I, I, can, I can already guess that. Um, this is a little bit, I'm not sure if if it's correctly designed or not but it definitely takes much longer than it should oops uh, I forgot that those are not the right buttons ok 11 miles per hour I can in fact give it a little bit more on the accelerator uh, perhaps if I would speed up to 14 Okay, let's let's let it coast now. Uh, I'm going downhill, and I still have yeah, uh, 580 yards to go, and and uh, I think I might have overdone it a little bit, and I will probably speed up before uh, before I will have to start slowing down. Which means I will have to start slowing down before it is right time to do so. Which will be very ineffective. I would like to be wrong in my assumptions though. Right, 300 yards. If I could... Nah, I, I need to... Yeah, I, I need to slow it down a bit because we started to, to go dangerously close uh, to a point where I would go uh, too fast. And that would reduce the amount of points that I'm earning for this scenario. Obviously, probably normally like a train driver in, in real life wouldn't really care about that one extra mile and he would just reverse into, into the siding slightly faster than uh, than I am doing that uh, unless unless you got speed cameras uh, around the yard and, and somebody is actually controlling your speeds uh, I'm not sure about it well in in these days your uh, well employees tend to tend to spy on employers well employees uh, employers tend to spy on employees at every point of, of the job so I wouldn't be surprised if if there would be like a full uh, full like a system intended to, to track your movements uh, and and perhaps soon soon they will start introducing something to track your thoughts as well. Uh, but anyway, let's uncouple these three cars, and that leaves us with just three cars left to um, to move around the yard. So yeah, just as I expected, I need to get back all the way back there. Oh my goodness me, 900 yards. Oh my goodness me, right. So, let's switch reverser, let's leave the brakes. Let's give it a notch of a throttle. Uh, perhaps I, I gave it that throttle a little bit too fast. Uh, because the train was struggling to... Um, to begin moving which means that brakes were still engaged when, when when the locomotive was trying to pull which might be damaging to the engine perhaps I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure about it but that would sound logical anyway 800 yards let's do it let's just do it I have to admit that it's, it's really tempting to just let it go uh, go there much faster than the speed limit says and uh, because it, like going with that 15 miles per hour is, is really boring 
like it, it's really slow. It's, it's definitely way, way too slow. Or at least it feels like. I know it's for safety reason. And, and that's uh, speed limits are, are there to, to actually make sure that, that you can come back to, to your family after a day of work instead of end up in, in hospital or, or even worse. But well, yeah, it, it's really boring. Even, even though it takes just a, I don't know how long it took us, like 20, 25 minutes so far. Yeah, it took us 25 minutes to perform all those operations at least so far and and it feels a bit boring i'm not gonna lie like you go you just go back and forth and and just move the cargo around and uh, well that's that's the realism for you 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 have to move the cargo from from point a to point b that's basically the job and that's that's the job in any warehouse that's the job in any sort of uh rail yards uh, truck company whatever your main goal is to just move the cargo from point A to point B, whether it is just a fresh air trailer or uh, whether it is actual cargo that's inside such trailer or, or any of those wagons. Oh well, uh, that's the life I guess. There are people that are constantly doing this job. Right, initial reduction it is. Oh, perhaps that would yeah that was a bit too fast I'm now down to 6 miles per hour oh my goodness me and, and there's still 70 yards yeah I need to pull this train a little bit closer to this point in order for it to, to actually catch me uh, I can't just uh, stop when, when the train goes past uh, the junction right 24% service almost perfect for yeah four yards fantastic right and let's go back to track 22 so let's check the switches as always so we need to be on the third track this time so this one needs to be set and this one needs to be set this one is set and this one is set okay fantastic reverse it forward brakes released let's give it a few seconds two, two hits on the horn and we can get on moving 870 yards okay three miles per hour four miles per hour there we go there we go we are rolling right let's see Okay, we can see the back of our train. Well, I wouldn't say it's impressive consist, that's for sure. Uh, three wagons for two of those locomotives is absolutely nothing to pull. I'm actually not sure why the game gives me a tandem of two locomotives to, to sort out uh, such a small cargo. Um, I'm not sure if... Like, Again, that, that would be another question to, to ask to, to people that actually work on the railway. Uh, why why any rail company would do such thing? Because it, it surely is a huge waste, I'm not gonna lie. Why would you use so much fuel if all that job that I just did can be done using a single locomotive? And probably Providing the size of that locomotive and the size of that engine, I would assume that it can pull a lot. And I was just moving empty cargo. Well, empty cars, actually. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, 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 no up for some reason I changed the wrong switch this one 
why oh my goodness me i changed the wrong switch and i went the wrong way oh and it was going so well oh my goodness me right yeah i i now need to reverse and go past the junction oh my goodness me right i wonder if it if it's gonna cut me some points away for going the wrong direction i mean i i would actually assume that that it does but i don't see it on my points too bad that the game don't let you track uh, your mistakes and, and and this kind of stuff it 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 will show you like the speed limits if, if you go above the speed limit but if you make that kind of mistake i i wonder if the game is actually punishing you for that oh dear oh dear oh dear that was a huge mistake right i got two carried away uh, by by my initial successes right and okay we went past the junction i can now slow down change the reverser in the meantime as the train is getting itself to a stop i can switch this one yeah this one is set i i completely missed this one and and that's probably why i made that mistake anyway uh we can now uh, get back to to the cabin reverser is set to forward i can just now release the brakes give it a big notch on a throttle and push that cargo into the right siding this time uh, perhaps it would definitely help us okay and now it looks like i am going in the right direction do i yes i am fantastic 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 okay so again uh, once more same as last time i lost some time on on making mistake that's basically where the challenge of this game is uh, you technically want to do things on time it's, it's very important to uh, to actually be um, uh, at various places at the right time uh, that's that's all it is on, on any sort of like a, a logistical job uh, it's it's all about delivering cargo to, from the right place uh, to to the right place at the right time you don't want cargo to to come in too fast and don't you don't want it to go too slow uh, it's all about good coordination and and eventually i need to work on that element <laughs> well at least one of those elements uh, because i definitely took much more time than than i should Okay, objective completed. I need to uncouple those three cars. Okay, let's get out of the locomotive. Oh, this takes forever. Let's uncouple this one. Let's climb. Right, the question is, where do I need to stop? Because definitely the game will ask me... Okay, objective completed. Stop at location as indicated. Okay, behind me. Where is this? Oh, okay. I just need to go back to, to where I came from. Uh, fantastic. So, reverser goes to the reverse. Re uh, release the brakes. Uh, throttle sent to... Let's send it to 3. Uh, attach on a horn, even though it's too little too late. Let's get going. Uh, I think that's, that's the last... Uh, last thing that I need to do in this scenario uh, as you probably remember last time I complained that scenario indicated oh my goodness me I, I, I let myself to, to be a bit carried away and eventually I went a bit over over the speed limit right uh, as you probably remember last time I was complaining a little bit about scenario indicating that it should take 15 minutes and it in fact took 
around 40. Well, with a little bit of a practice, you can go down to, to around 30 minutes, I believe. Uh, but yeah, uh, this time, scenario seems to be indicating a correct amount of time that is needed to, to actually complete it. Well, more or less correct. Because obviously, uh, apart from me making a huge mistake and, and going into wrong direction and and getting carried away uh, by by getting going a little bit over speed thankfully just one or two miles uh, but yeah that that's still a bit of a huge mistake i'd say right i think again i started to slow down a little bit too soon uh, but we're gonna get there 80 yards come on come on Okay, we went past this junction, so technically that would be appropriate place to start slowing down. And I am constantly slowing down because I am going uphill. Uh, so, even though I don't really have to, well, probably I would roll uh, past the next junction. Okay, oh, there is couple to formation, 15 vehicles. Oh, that is something unexpected. So I need to be on this siding. Uh, okay. Let me just put this one on. Let me go there. Okay, okay, okay. That's good, that's good. Uh, let's go back. Let's go forward. Uh, let's reduce the brake. And let's get going. 500 yards. And uh, now I got 15 vehicles to carry. Probably I will have to reverse back and, and put that entire consist onto a different track. Right. Uh, let's let it coast. 12 miles per hour. That That's a bit unexpected. Uh, I wasn't sure how, how many tasks I need to do because it's it's basically the first time I'm, I'm doing this particular task. Uh, I thought these three, uh, like, uh, well, visiting those those three sidings to, to leave those three parts of, of the train was it. Uh, but apparently it's not. Uh, there is still more work to be done. Uh, yeah, those switches are set correctly. Now I need to get another train. Oh my goodness me, right, 160 yards. I'm, I'm approaching this train a little bit faster than I should, I believe. And normally train drivers would probably slow down a bit sooner. Uh, because it also takes much longer to, to actually stop the train. Uh, right, 9.1 miles, initial reduction. Yeah, okay. 5.1 miles per hour. Yeah, let's slow down a bit further. Yeah, 3 miles per hour seems to be appropriate speed when approaching wagons. Okay, we are stopped. I can now introduce some initial reduction. Okay, objective completed. Stop at location as indicated. Okay, again we need to reverse back to the same siding. Fantastic. Okay, reverser. Horn. Obviously I, I keep forgetting about it so much that, that it's irrelevant now. Uh, more or less, but well, practice makes perfect. Uh, at some point I will remember to, to always use horn when, when maneuvering, uh, which is pretty much the rule every time you, you have to drive any sort of industrial equipment, and that probably includes trains. Uh, there, there's probably much more rules in, in terms of uh, use uh, horn usage than, than I would even imagine, but well. Uh, the benefit of working in some place is that usually you know what, what to do. 
uh, because you get full training uh, while while I'm just playing a game at the end of the day. Right, 600 yards. We are doing just 14 miles per hour. Fantastic. Oh, we are still gaining speed, but. Now I, I should start stopping. Yeah, the train is, is slowing down. Fantastic. So at the right time I should be able to, to actually stop this consist. I wonder how much sidings I will have to visit with this one. Uh, because the game is asking me to, to take a little bit... Um, how would you call it? Inefficient road. To, to reach my goals uh, so going three times between this siding and each of those sidings will will definitely take another 20 minutes which is way longer than it should uh, in fact it already took me 40 minutes to do the job that I done so far and I'm still not done oh my goodness me Yeah, the game is, is really, really, really uh, not accurate in, in that estimate. Uh, surely you can you can do this job faster if you if you keep going like uh, over speeding, but that's not the point of the game, isn't it? Oh well. Uh, couple to formation, three vehicles. Okay, so so that's interesting. I need to now form a train. So I need to be on this siding. Okay, this one is sorted. This one is not sorted. Is it? It is. It is. And this one needs to be set. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. So. That's the point where I would normally have some help uh, because like it would really be hard for me to to see behind uh, 15 wagons I'm not going to lie uh, so that's the point where I should technically have someone on the other end of that train to actually tell me how far I am from the target wagons Otherwise, I would probably crash at this point. Uh, so again, that that might be a good hint for uh, Dovetail to actually finally introduce multiplayer. How about that, Dovetail? Make this game good. Please. Anyway. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh dear, oh dear, that's a bummer. Uh, I need to slow down. Yeah, I, I went a bit too fast. Uh, I still haven't gone over over the speed limit. Uh, but definitely I was going a little bit faster than, than I was supposed to. And the thing is, I will soon start to slow down. Uh, because I am 700 yards away. But end of my train is not. And I got very limited visibility. So I will now slow down to... 3 miles per hour. Let me just... Oh yeah, we are still far away. Okay, I'll give it a touch on accelerator. Just to bring it slightly faster. Okay, three miles per hour should do. And that's basically how I should continue until the end. Because I can't visibly verify how far uh, I am uh, from, uh, from those wagons. I should technically have at least some voice in, in the radio saying, yeah, you are that far away from this, uh, from this consist. Uh, that's that's a bit of a bummer, I'm not gonna lie. That's definitely 
uh, a bit of a poor design uh, in terms of missions. Uh, if, you, if you do this kind of jobs, you definitely want to have some some sort of a helper uh, on, on the back of the train. It can be simulated, obviously your sidekick can be put into certain places, like you might have the ability to order him around or or, or tell him, hey dude, uh, go there and and like uh, be on be on the lookout tell me how far uh, end of the train is from from that whatever yeah it's not a problem he doesn't have to sit in the locomotive uh, but yeah it, it's a bit of a bummer or they could actually introduce that remote control and, and give the player ability to, to actually use such devices uh, which would probably be an interesting choice Right, how far I am? Yeah, I, I'm still a little bit of a way from from those wagons. I hope the game won't won't now troll me uh, by saying, "Okay, you connected these three. Yeah, now connect the the other three that you left before," because that would be a real bummer. Uh, I, I just hope it won't be that way. Or, eventually, it will tell me to, to leave those blue cars on this siding, then take those white ones back to, uh, for example, those tankers and, and the, the other car, and, and, and last three or, or those tankers could be taken to, to those blue CSX cars that are right next to me. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Right, I'm, I'm going a bit fast, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. That, that was a bit of a rough stop. Right, wait for a moment. What the game wants from me. Objective completed. Uncouple vehicles. 11 vehicles. Oh my goodness me. That's not the end of this task, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, 11 vehicles. That. Uh, hmm. Which one is that? Oh, that's that's right behind the white cars. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, I I rammed into into those wagons pretty hard. I I have to admit. Okay, so that's this one. Let's uncouple it. The question is, where are these guys going? Okay, there we go. Let's close the door. And now, let's get back. Throttle 3. Uh, I might be adding throttle a little bit too early. Uh, but I just don't want to let this train to roll back. Uh, because obviously there is an incline and, and it's heading the opposite direction than I'm currently traveling. Uh, so if I would let my train to, to roll back, it wouldn't be exactly appropriate. Right, let's check if I got all the switches set. Yes, I do. And again, the game asks me to go really, really far away. Just to flick the switch somewhere around here. Uh, I don't think that's that's the best design ever. Not going to lie. Right, let's give it a little bit more throttle. Because it takes way too long to, to complete this task. I am already 50 minutes into the task. And I'm still not done yet. Uh, that, my friends happens to be a poor mission design. Uh, if, if you indicate a mission that should last 40 minutes and you make it so it lasts 50 minutes before you, before you are even close to finishing it, there's something wrong with those tasks, isn't it? And it's, it's not that I can go much faster with that locomotive. 
Um, because otherwise I would have to break the speed limits that are on the yard. And, and controls of, of those locomotives are not that precise to allow me... Oh, I might have started to slow down a bit too soon. But yeah, like, why am I supposed to go that far back if, if my train is half the length of what it used to be? That makes no sense. Oh well, anyway, we can now stop here, there we go, uh, Cumberland classification yard track 23, okay, let's have a look where that is, oh okay, I need to leave those wagons there, so this one goes there, this one goes there, this one goes there. Okay, I think I'm gonna be on the right track this time. That's one, that's two, that's... Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I would end up being on, on the completely wrong track. Do I? Yeah. That would be a real bummer. There we go, and there we go. Okay. And this one is set correctly. Right. Right, that's good. Let me release the brakes. Forward, speed three. And there we go. We are rolling another 970 yards. Okay, I, I might be going a little bit too fast, but yeah. let's see if I can keep this train on on the brake uh, for a second. And if I can just keep it on, on high speed. Okay, 600 yards. We are doing pretty good. Uh, definitely, we are doing pretty good. Even though there were some mistakes um, along the way. I still should be able to finish with a gold medal. Uh, it's not that I made like a massive mistake or if I crashed into something. So as long as I'm not... Oh, oh, no, 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 I don't want to put on throttle. I keep forgetting that... Oh, okay, uh, I'm standing. Uh, I keep forgetting that uh, this game doesn't really offer me any sort of leaning and, and advanced camera controls that I would get in other games. Uh, I'm a bit used to Direi Valley controls so obviously uh, I still keep trying to, to lean and, and look a little bit along the side of, uh, of this consist in fact I am almost at the right place to start stopping yeah initial reduction I think this is appropriate point to, to actually start slowing down uh, yeah yeah I'm losing speed at good rate I should in fact stop really soon. Yeah, less than 20 yards away from the place that I should stop. And I still need to uncouple four vehicles. Oh my goodness. There we go. So there is still one more shunting to be done. With last three wagons. There we go. wait for a moment 
There we go. Stop at location again, a thousand yards away. My goodness me. That's going back and forth. Well, well, on its own, it's well, it's a normal part of the operation. Uh, definitely, this um, this entire um, mission is again designed to to be much longer than than it was supposed to be. Uh, if if you indicate that the mission should take you 40 minutes, you don't ask someone to go so many miles across the yard at a speed not exceeding 10 miles per hour. It makes no sense. I know I might not be the most efficient driver when it comes to speed, but I don't think it would cut me that many minutes. I'm already almost 20 minutes above uh, the mission limit. I'm about to, to, to get like at 100% mission length in, in just four minutes. Uh, and no, nobody will convince me that uh, by doing extra two miles per hour uh, going either way would eventually cut that much time. That's 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 just not how it works. I I know it would cut at least like five to ten minutes, yes, uh, but it would still be much longer mission than than it should be. So there's definitely some. Um, underestimation of how much time those various things take and it's a bummer it's a bit of a poor mission design it should have been checked unless there is some magic trick that I don't know about to, to eventually like stop at the appropriate locations uh, perfectly fine I don't know uh, maybe it's just a practice but it, it still takes like I'm 20 minutes above the time limit already uh, because like the mission was indicated to, to last for 40 minutes and in just two and a half minutes I will reach 60 minutes of a mission time yeah I, I stopped too early and as you can see the waypoint didn't caught me so I need to go even further. I can't even cut this mission shorter uh, by stopping slightly sooner. Because if I do that, I will lose even more time instead of saving some. While normally, you would eventually expect to uh, stop much, much sooner. So yeah, the road that player has to take is very ineffective. Instead of like a single point system, uh, it should be like, in general, yeah, make your way to, to this place to, to be able to, to safely stop. Uh, oh, I need to couple to, to this train, okay. Uh, so, this one, this one, and this one. Yeah, those are right sidings. That's the right siding. Okay, back. So again, I'm heading towards a different train. That's very interesting. I, I hope that I will be able to, to uncouple entire uh, of that small consist that I'm now pushing. Okay, 12 miles per hour, that's a good time to, to actually let it coast. Right, so if if I'm correct, uh, I should very soon be able to, to finish this mission. Uh, I'm still quite a substantial amount of time above what the mission indicated it should take, which is pretty bad. That's, that's pretty bad. 
uh, timekeeping on my side is terrible uh, but I feel like this mission was also a bit underestimating how much time it takes to move between places that I'm being asked to, to move obviously I, I lost like a minute or two uh, on on bad switching at, at at one point where where I basically pushed my train onto a completely wrong siding uh, but that was like extra two minutes seriously it didn't took me much longer to, to adjust uh, but what is happening right now is yeah I, I've just reached uh, 60 minutes of uh, 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 I need to slow down. Yeah, I, I just reached uh, 60 minutes of mission timer. Right, seven, six. Yeah, I, I'm moving a bit fast. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, 3.6, 3.2. Okay, that, that sounds like a good speed. Yeah, I'm, I'm still a bit far away from, from that consist, but I don't trust my, like, uh, judgment in terms of uh, distance. Uh, on top of that, I'm going downhill, so uh, so the train will constant, uh, constantly pick up uh, the speed. So eventually, I, I will be doing, like, four miles per hour when, when I get to, to those three cars. And hopefully... Uh, after I uncouple these, uh, I will be able to just reverse into that siding. And the game won't ask me to, to do another yard work uh, anytime soon. Uh, otherwise, it would take me just a good portion of, of like two hours uh, to, to actually do that. I'm already, well, I've already started second hour of, uh, of that job. Uh, it does take a lot of time to, to do the shunting, that's for sure. Uh, oh, I, I might have slowed down a bit too much in this case. Yeah, it, it definitely does take a lot of time to, to do the switching and, and shunting. Uh, but the mission should have been designed uh, to, to be uh, a bit shorter. Uh, it would also be much easier for me uh, to, to do this mission if I would be operating only one locomotive. Uh, because operating a tandem in uh, uh, train sim worlds uh, happens to be very ineffective. I can't just jump between two cabins and operate them uh, from, from both cabins. Uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Wait for a moment. Could you please? Objective completed. Uncouple vehicles, six vehicles, yeah. So that's. Oh my goodness me. Uh, so that's here. There we go. I can just leave entire consist. Uh, let me just close the door. Go back to engineer seat. Reverse. Stop at location as indicated. Okay, two notches on the on the horn, and I believe I'm now reversing. Yeah, I'm now reversing here. The question is, is that going to be the end of that mission, or am I going to be asked to uh, deal with with that last consist that uh, that is uh, here along the tracks? I might be. It might actually happen. And, and I might be asked to, to, to deal with another consist and, and switch, uh, switch it into different siding. Uh, which will extend this mission timer to be nearly or over twice more than, than it indicated at the beginning. It is still substantial amount of time that, that it took me to, to finish this mission. Uh, at this moment, I'm approaching 65 minutes uh, since this mission has started uh, or has begun. Uh, yeah, it's it's it 
it takes much longer than uh, than it indicated and even with uh, with proper operation or proper switching uh, for the whole time uh, and and with with keeping the top speed uh, for most of the time that that I can uh, I feel like I wouldn't be able to, to achieve this goal which which is a bit of a problem right uh, I was going a little bit too fast okay objective completed and there we go uh, yeah it took us one hour five minutes and 21 seconds uh, to to complete a mission morning ball switching uh, I'm not going to lie uh, it's called ball uh, because probably uh, that's um, that type of of shunting that I was doing was supposed to be done by pushing the cars so that they roll into the correct siding on their own uh, <laughs> no probably not uh, that's uh, that's not uh, hump yard um, anyway uh, but uh, yeah it it takes much longer than the mission indicated at the beginning if if you noticed the mission uh, was at some point saying 40 minutes well it took us uh 25 minutes more than than 40 minutes so uh again uh for the second time it's underestimating to uh the time needed to to complete this mission uh i managed to get a gold medal mostly because uh, my total score was over 9340 well it was exactly 9340 what am i talking about uh as you can see from the graph uh i went a bit uh higher on the speed uh, as i progressed through the mission so at the very beginning first few shunts i've been going way slower than i was supposed to I picked up the speed later uh, as as I got a bit more confident with the track. Uh, but again, uh, the graphs indicate when I'm uh, speeding up, slowing down. Um, so so you can see uh, each of the operations on those graphs. Uh, pretty much few times I went slightly slightly higher than than I was supposed to go, but in general the peak point was exactly at the right speed anyway uh, that was a second mission of a sand patch great journey i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you did give the video a a like uh, give it a give it that massive thumbs up also if you dislike the video yeah give it a thumbs down uh, it's uh well you got right to your opinion so so yeah uh, smash like or unlike button uh, it it generates uh, some sort of movement around the channel anyway uh obviously if you want to get informed about my new content hit that subscribe button and follow up with notification bell uh, you can also join my discord server where i got uh, notifications from my channel turned on uh, so again another good reason to, to jump in there uh, I do have a channel where uh, every single of my uploaded and published video uh, gets uh, gets notified on and, and you can find out when I'm uploading something new uh, if you want to follow my content. Uh, also, if you want to have a chat or if you want to chat with any other of my fans, yeah, uh, that's, that's also a good place to interact. Right. Uh, finally, don't forget to leave some comments down below the video, um, share some of your thoughts. Uh, I look forward to, uh, to hear from all of you. Right, have a great day and see you all later. Later. Out.